Hey, Betty Bash. It's the 30th of April, 2019. I hope you're all having a good week. I just had to share this with you quickly here. Um, this is absolutely crazy to me, but uh, the last video that I did, the Archibald, da da da, the May 14th DC 9/11 sunrise. Okay, get a load of this. I'm gonna suffer you through listening to this for a couple seconds. Okay, this goes back thousands of years, but Truman recognized the state of Israel on May 14th, 1948, 11 minutes after it declared itself a nation. Okay. Uh, and it goes on, and I suggest you go watch it to kind of get the, you know, gist of what I'm trying to tell you here. It's only eight minutes long. But Truman recognized Israel 11 minutes after their independence was uh, announced, right? What do you think the chances of this happening today are? I, I can't even wrap my mind around the odds of this coming out today. Praise God. The only signed copy of the U.S. recognition of the state of Israel. And it can be yours for $300,000. May 14th, 1948, Harry S. Truman. This is insane to me. It absolutely is, you guys. So I had to hop on here and show you this. I had to. And you got to read this, too, because it's weird. He didn't really sign this particular copy until 1965 which I thought was very strange. But just having been talking about this and how the sun aligns in the pentagram in D.C. Uh, and how the sun tomorrow actually sets in that portal in uh, France, which is very odd as well because just today, you can't, can't get around this stuff. They issued an alert, the U.S. Embassy, in France, they issued them an alert today, warning them about tomorrow, May 1st, May Day. And that's the day the sun sets in that portal there in Paris, that whole ordeal, like two videos back. This is crazy stuff, but it's no coincidence, man. There is no coincidence that this is coming out today. And what it exactly means, I truly do not know. But I know it's just more of this dark underbelly being revealed to us and how it operates in understanding that it is, in fact, a spiritual battle. Because this is not men orchestrating all this. This is a spirit behind it that will trap and ensnare you in a second if you're not under the blood of Christ. I'm just putting it out there. Because these things are coming rapidly. And when it, when it really hits like a trap you're not gonna know what to do people are gonna be running around in fear you need to seek the truth by Jesus Christ now just ask for the truth humbly and sincerely open the Bible start reading it's the way it works but I had to show you this stuff we got Venezuela's uprising going on Russia is involved in all this and all that and everything it's all a bunch of black ops and lies but when you're in Christ, you're able to discern what it is to do, and you're in peace. It just is really an awesome thing. So I pray you know him if you don't. Seek him today. But, man, I can't get over this, you guys. I really can't get over it. So I'll, again, link all the stuff I got here. And peace and grace to you. Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 